we're not having wrapping paper wars. You did it! I lighted him up! You I'm gonna show you why we rearranged, and it is, it's so homey. It's I made my first piece of the pants. <gasps> nice! Vlogmas, everybody. So it is just Matt and Aspen and Mama and what? Um, I wish that great in our country. Are you telling them what we're doing today? <gasps> what are we doing? Go ahead, you can tell them. Getting a real Christmas tree and decorating it. Yeah. Well. So I think. We're getting, I said I wanted to go a real tree because we're trying to be eco-friendly, but I did find out you can recycle your Christmas yeah. trees, which I did not know. So we're gonna look and see because one thing that Matt said he's missed is we used to do what? We used to every Thanksgiving in the evening when all the relatives that come in would leave, and it was just us, that was the night our tree went up. And I do miss that, that was a tradition from when I was a kid that I brought over because that was what me and my mom and dad did. We always set up the tree Thanksgiving night. And it, it's so funny how traditions can change in it. And that's one I have missed a lot. And now my mom doesn't put her tree up until like, what, her birthday? <laughs> yeah, until the last minute. And we never took our tree down. That was kind of our tradition. We didn't take our tree down until after New Year's. We always had it up for New Year's and had the lights going. I think sometimes we started taking the ornaments off, but we always left the lit up tree up. Yeah, and, and, and we haven't been able to do that because they die so quickly. And, and they do, and last year I was very disappointed. It, the tree was beautiful, yeah. but it just did not last as long. Now, to get that kind of beautiful tree though, is financially not possible to yeah. get in a in a artificial tree because they're just so expensive. So we need to find if we go that route, find something that we both think is nice and full. Because I like a big family tree. Yeah. We have a lot of ornaments for one. Every year we get the kids a new ornament, and then Grandma gets them a new ornament too. Now my mom started getting the kids ornaments or make, she makes them ornaments, which is really cute. She makes them personalized ornaments every year now. So that's a new tradition for her because if you've been watching us long enough, you know I grew up not celebrating holidays. My parents didn't celebrate holidays. Well, my mom does now. So. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, but with, with our other tree, that tree is very special and it'll never go anywhere. That's out in the foyer. It just, it's lost some luster over the years, but it's a very special tree because that tree was me and Skylar's first tree that we went and picked out for the family. And, and he picked that tree out, and that was years ago. And that tree was really <laughs> expensive because I said, just find the tree, son, which one do you like? And that's the one he picked, and now he, wants that tree. That tree can't go anywhere because he wants that tree. So. Yeah, so that's the one that we decorate with just a few light ornaments and a few that match it and we really just kind of theme that tree towards some of the colors that we have in our house and in our foyer area. So it's still decorated up. He gets to have his tree up, but it's not taking a whole lot of damage. Why can't it go in to get it? What? Why can't it go in to get it? Did you get to go in to get it? Yeah. Yep. Yes, you do. I think so. I, either go, tonight or tomorrow we'll decorate. We get, do I have red lips? You do have red lips. We're going to wash your face before we go get our tree. Where? Probably in the bathroom. So we have a tradition that we started actually last year with the kids where we take and let them uh, get like a cocoa or a treat or something when we go to pick out the tree and he picked, he picked an ice cream. It's very cold outside. There's snow on the ground, but he is an ice cream kid. He loves it. So, anyway, we are off to get our tree. All right, guys, so we picked out a tree. We'll show you when we get home. Put those back. Put them back. 
Yeah, yeah. We're not having yeah, wrapping yeah. paper wars. Okay, so I'm sure you guys are wondering why we're putting up another tree in our living room. It's a long story. All right, so later on, I will reveal what we've done to our living room, but we've changed a lot in here. We like the feel. When we went out and got our tree today, we did not realize exactly how full it was gonna be. And cars didn't go all the way up. So it's now in the corner. Here, and I'll show you what we did with our other. So this is the little area off of our dining room, which everything is kind of discombobulated right now. We have stuff all over the place in here. <sighs> because we were trying to figure out what we were gonna do with this room. All right, so I have to show you guys something. I wanna give you like a reveal on the living room, but I think I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. I'm gonna show you how we rearranged this evening because it's super homey, it looks really nice. I've been thinking about painting our living room and now I don't want to, plus I got a new piece for the living room, which I won't put out till after Christmas, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. It's absolutely gorgeous, it's so pretty, you guys, and it's really gonna tie the colors in the living room together, but I have to show you what's going on in the living room and why I'm gonna leave it now. So, like I said, we put the one tree out here, Everybody's been wanting our family tree back in the living room again. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, it took me some tears because I was so overwhelmed that I had put everything together to just get in there and get our tree put up tonight and do our family ornaments and stuff. And I kinda had this idea in my head and sometimes that's overwhelming. So a lot of tears and a lot of frustration, but Matt and I put our heads together, Skylar, T, everybody pitched in and helped. Even Aspen, he actually mm -hmm. kind of came up with the idea. Yeah, Aspen came up with, <laughs> with some ideas. Ireland, all the kids kind of pitched in and said, hey, what about this, what about this? Because they knew it was a stressful situation. And I love that when we can pull together as a family, even in moments that are difficult, even in moments that are stressful and you just think you can't do something, and you come together as a family and you make it happen. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a sneak preview tonight, but tomorrow we'll give you the big tree reveal and show you all the decorations that we put up and do our Christmas house tour. I'm hoping tomorrow, okay, the best laid plans, you guys, but tomorrow that is the plan of attack. So, and I'll reveal to you Charlie's, because you'll have already seen that vlog, you know what the baby's gender is now. If you don't, you gotta watch it and you'll understand the Christmas ornament that we got for her this year. That will go home with her now that she has her own family. Um, but I'm gonna show you why we rearranged and it is, it's so homey, it's so nice. All right guys, so this is what we did. So there's our tree not fully decorated but it's got our Santa Claus on top. And I did that, I plugged it in. You did, I showed them. And look at this. So our TV's moved over here now, which is really nice because all those cords that were always sticking out, look at this, they're hidden behind there. You can't see them anymore. The end table's there. The couch is against the wall, which is really nice because it's actually stopping a draft that we've always had a problem with in the winter time coming and in, which is nice. Really? The chair was over on this wall. So now, oh, somebody unplugged it. You can't see it. But I'll show you better tomorrow in the daylight. But now our end table is here. It used to be over there. And Matt turned the bookshelf around and restabilized it. Well, here, I'll just pop the light on really quick so you can see it. Matt restabilized the bookshelf. We moved all our knickknacks over this way and look. We have a family picture up for the first time in forever. And we'll have more. We moved Charlie's pictures up above because she had given me this. She needs a new frame. She had given me this, I think, last Christmas or the Christmas before. And the pictures of herself and I and then her dad and I, or her dad and her. And then we've got some of the kids' baby pictures up and our train. We moved that over, but I think the kids have been 
I think they've been playing over here a little bit. Our little makeshift village is like that. I made my first piece of the pants. <gasps> nice! She's making doll clothes. And then we moved this here with our baskets. They're over here now. I love where Matt's recliner is. I'm not tripping over it anymore. We moved our coffee table over and the couch. So yeah, I think it's a lot more homey. What do you guys think? Let us know. Zane wants to say something. What? The nutcracker over there? We're using that as an elf on the shelf. Yes, this is our nutcracker on the shelf. So you guys wish us some magic. Hope he moves tonight, right? You guys, this is what I had to show you. I pulled it out. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? So this will go on the couch after the holidays. It's that pretty blue color that I accent the living room with. Isn't that beautiful? I think I call it Robin's Egg Blue. I think this is a little bit lighter, but I try to use shades of blue, light and dark, kind of in this tone of blue. And it's so pretty. It's got these tassels on it, and it's so soft. And look at this. It was only $14.99 at TJ Maxx. I just love this. And it came with this really cool hanger to hang it on, so it's kind of nice. When I'm not using it, I can just hang it in the living room closet. Bam! Okay, with this hand, you're going to key up as loud as you can key up. All right? Ready? Oh! You didn't key up! You're lucky it broke! Testing for 